Welcome everyone to another rapid revision video. This topic is medieval hospitals and we're going to be covering the origin, treatment and care and effectiveness. So here are some key points about the origin of medieval hospitals. Looking after the sick was an important part of Christianity. This led to the church to set up hospitals and their number grew really quickly. By 1500, there were around 1,100 hospitals in England. Hospitals were run by monks and nuns who lived in monasteries. Hospitals were paid for by the church or by charity donations left by wealthy people in their wills. This was because many people believed that leaving money to charity would help get their souls to heaven. Majority of hospitals during the medieval period were small with just a few beds, like the image on the screen. Some of them had hundreds of beds. And one example of this is St. Leonard's Hospital in York, which had 200 beds, but this wasn't very common. Who was given care at medieval hospitals? Here are the key points. Most hospitals did not admit or treat the sick. Instead, they offered hospitality. That means food and shelter. In fact, we get the word hospital from the word hospitality. About half of hospitals were almshouses. These were places that took in the elderly, the poor and the weak. They also gave shelter to travellers. About a third were leper houses. These were places that took in lepers to keep them away from the rest of the population, not to treat them or provide medical treatment. In fact, only about 10% of medieval hospitals took in the sick. And patients with infectious diseases or who were seriously ill would not be allowed to come to these hospitals or receive any care. Pregnant women and mentally ill were also not admitted. So as you can see, the type of patients that could get care at these hospitals was quite limited. Let's talk a little bit more about the effectiveness of the care. But before we can do that, let's carry on talking about the type of care and treatment they would have received. Here are the key points. No medical treatment was actually provided at medieval hospital. And then also another key point for us to know is that there was no physicians or surgeons. Focus was on caring for patients and not curing disease. There was also emphasis on looking after the souls of patients through prayer. And so there was a huge emphasis on religion, and that's not surprising, as we know the church ran medieval hospitals. So in many hospitals, they would have an altar where patients could take part in religious services or at least listen to them from their beds. The nuns had a duty to keep the hospital clean and comfortable. And that meant hygiene standards really high. Sheets and clothing were changed regularly. So what was the effectiveness of medieval hospitals? Not surprisingly, hospitals were good places to rest and recover. And that's what mainly patients received. For patients with minor illnesses, hospitals were quite successful because they were safe, clean places to get well. However, as we've already mentioned, it was limited on who was allowed in to receive care in medieval hospitals. And so that also affected their effectiveness. Thank you for watching this rapid revision video. On the screen, are three ways that you can extend and develop your revision further. Don't forget, there are other rapid 
provision videos for you to watch on the YouTube channel as well.